Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. Hello. And that's the Ocelot. And we're playing City Skylines. Um, yeah, at the end of the last episode, we were doing quite well. We're actually making a little bit of money. Our little town, which has little to, little to no demands at the moment, it seems to be doing reasonably okay. I don't doubt we might need some more power and some more water in a bit. Um, does it actually say how much we're meeting demand? Is there a uh, water supply? So availability is really high. Power ability is really high. So we can probably... Okay, so we can't have that up at the same time. Fine. Um, we might be able to tweak that a little bit, but I will probably leave that for now. But now we're going to experiment with curved roads. So let's grab the middle of there. And go out. Switch to a curved road tool. Boop, boop, boop. I like drawing circles. That was not what I wanted. That's a straight bit of road. I wanted curved. There we go. So we now have a circular section to our city. So let's uh, plug that into the road network in a couple more places and fill that in with residential to meet our demand. Let's do a... Okay. Let's just go with a brush. Brush, 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 brush. And then fill the ones on the inside in. And just put a little bit of commercial in. And tidy up those little misses. Okay. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for people to move in before they'll start getting power. I suspect they'll probably start complaining a little bit sooner. They do, but they are moving in. And they don't have power. Um, we don't quite have any other buildings. We could. I was kind of hoping to put like a, a service building or something in, in here. Let's pause that. Unzone those areas and repaint all of that as residential. Yes, oh, water, water I can fix. Because water I can just run a pipe across. No, let's uh, let's run that out from here. There we go, and done. Water. Let's check on the poo. Well, oh. little Hamlet. With little fireworks. So we're going to have access to taxes, loans. Our, our little citizens now require garbage to be taken away. Healthcare and education. So we've got a new building. We've got a little medical clinic, a landfill site, and an elementary school. So we should probably get to work on fulfilling those demands. We should also nicely bridge the gap we've got here. So let's start off by putting in a healthcare clinic. There. Right in the centre of our residential data. You see all the happy faces? Yay. Lots of little happy faces. And we will also do the same on the other side of the road. Put in a elementary school. To produce lots more happy faces. Okay. And where should we put the garbage dump? Near the end of the section. Yeah. We've got actually a perfectly sized location right on the end of this road. Fair enough. Fair enough. So now we have a garbage dump. So that should mean that our... Hey, and that's also rooted the power up. So if we just check the power button, you can see that because we built our school... Yay! Good, good. Oh, you can hear the children playing. 
Little do they know how doomed they are to be living in the city of Animalia. Doomed. Ever so slightly doomed. The gentle creaking. Yeah. Garbage truck. I am I am stalking the garbage truck from above, yeah. Round we go, returning to facility. And he disappears into infinity, but he appears again and carries on his merry way. Garbage trucks in use, too. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. We are still making a small amount of money. Our population is slowly increasing. We're going to wait until we've got, uh, I think we've still got quite a bit of area of land, you know, a little bit of area zone for commercial, but let's uh, strip up this middle section so that uh, we don't have any possible complaints. And then we'll just kind of speed up and wait for there to be a demand for something. And we'll see if our people complain. Our next milestone is at 1,000, where we become a worthy village. Yeah, we get all sorts of things for this. So we get districts, policies, fire departments. Ooh, we can specialise. We can learn about specialisations. Thinking that one of the specialisations we can unlock is we might put a forestry area over here. So what I might do is run a road out from here, from the from off the central hub section. What I might do is invest in putting some kind of roundabout in here. Yeah, we've got enough money. Let's invest. Let's play the roundabout again. Yeah. I don't want to delete too much, because I delete too far back. Um, nothing but bad things will happen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but then, uh, how much I care about that. Ooh. Four lane road. Six lane road. Can't do a highway yet. That's quite a big one. So we can do six lane, one way road. How quickly? All right, well, okay, well, so we've not got a lot of traffic right now. So this is a bit excessive in the future planning, but uh, let's just make it a. Don't actually need to be a roundabout right now. But we can just make it something of a diamond. So we can go out a little bit. Just to give us a bit more width. In. Out. In. So that should give us a pretty good way. Cancel. Of getting in and out of the city. So. I am going to dezone these little bits that are not aligned with the uh, grid because I don't want anyone building on these bits. But yes, okay. Yeah, I know it looks a bit derpy, but I don't really mind. Um, the only other thing I am going to do to complete the circuit is that. So you can now go all the way around our diamond runway, our diamond about. The diamond about, my darling. Diamond about. Diamond about. Yeah. It looks really stupid because it's not symmetrical in the slightest, but that's because this bit's off-centered. I want to be neat and tidy. It's important to me. A city is not meant to be that neat and tidy. True. But yeah, we've got this huge, great big interchange. I mean, fortunately, there's not a lot of traffic on here at the moment. We don't necessarily need to go about upgrading this road. I think our circular district's going quite nice. I like that. That's quite pretty. It is, isn't it? Yeah. When we get a few other things like parks and later, what we'll do is we could put a nice big... trees are in simple harmonic motion again. Yeah, they're really... These are dancing trees. Ons, 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 ons. All right, so our residential demand is going up yet again. How are we doing for water? It's amazing. Power? Power's getting a bit low. I think before we can expand, we're going to need to up our power. Now, fortunately... Um, we've still got quite a bit of space out in the yonder. Um, but I think we are going to relocate the Ocelotti turbine out to the shore side. And do the same with the other ones, because we're going to need to 
quite a bit of expansion work. Now, obviously, I think later we'll be moving these around perhaps into slightly more what we call socially representable, socially presentable, nicer places to put them. Ooh, okay, advanced wind turbines. These can go out to water, so they don't take up any space on land. 6,000. Okay, so this is going to basically be the rem remnants of our budget. We are now out of money, mostly because I spent quite so much of it on um, the diamond about. And let's make sure we plug our power in. So we should get a brief burst and flux as everyone suddenly has their power grids reconnected. And then they complain about that briefly. Very briefly. Very briefly. Yeah. So we've got, bizarrely, there's lights here because that's a two way bit. So. Not the greatest solution in the world. Might have to look at changing that up. But I mean, we've got quite a bit of space here to back that up. It's just this tiny little section here. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't, I can't not do something about it. I'm not gonna break it. I'm gonna fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I can't fix it. <laughs> Slope too steep, space already occupied. Okay, so as has been informed, I um I can't fix that. So uh, do 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 D zone square. So yeah, I'll fix it later. Demand for residential is going through the roof. No demand for industrial. A building is leveled up. Yeah, now level two, so it provides more tax. Pollution. Pollution is unsurprisingly pretty bad around this. Noise. Yep, that's pretty much what you'd expect. Outside connections. Oh, okay. So these, what these people actually need. So they import that. These are exporting goods. We're not generating tourism yet. Traffic, yes. Look at our industrial side. Health. That's all pretty good. Happiness. Not enough workers. Well educated. Okay, fine. Yep. Education. Garbage is not building up. We're good. Do, do, do. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So, okay, uh, we need more people. We need more roads. We need to add more people to our city. Um, what do you reckon? Where should we add people? We're going to keep it that side. Generally, this is going to be the residential area. I mean, we might start expanding off in interesting ways later on, but probably I'll just do an industry strip that goes up this way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, more houses? Yeah, that's what demand. You can do another circle. What circle off here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. big circle and then we will make that residential and we need to make sure we give them you know, water should happen by itself power should happen by itself because the building spread that we are going to need a bit more so let's do road Straight. Road curved. It's definitely going to be our circles district, I think.
Marriage of money. <laughs> yeah, but they're costing us money while we wait. Well, yeah. Yeah. There we go. I am. I think. Yeah. And I am going to put a. Gotta wait. There we go. And then do what we did before, which was. Recover all that in. A worthy village. Yay. A village of its worth. And Amelia is now a worthy village. All the reasons are locked for the requirements. Okay, so we can now purchase a new area. Not that we could afford to. <laughs> all that we need to right now. We can make districts, we can apply policies, get a second loan, apply specializations, and get service policies. We've got police and fire now needed. We can make farms and forests. Farms and forests. We can adopt policies on water usage and smoke detector distribution. And our residents want fire and police. So, we're currently making a thousand and a bit. Loans. Weekly cost 4,000. 400. Weekly cost... Two and a half thousand. So we can easily afford that loan. And that will give us a huge big chunk of money. 80,000 or so, plus the cash we got for starting out to make sure that we have a fire department, which is going to go on the end over here, and that we have a police department, which is going to go on the opposite side of the road. Look at the happy, happy spreads. Those happy people are so happy to have a police department, you wouldn't believe how happy they are. Unique buildings. Okay, we don't have any of that. But what we do have, potentially, is the resources button. Ore. We've got a lot of ore. And trees. And trees, yeah, there's trees there. But I think what we might be able to do to start with, there's a little bit of farming, lots of trees around here, and a bit more trees over here. But what is... They're going to mine there. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to gonna get some mining going. We've got a nice big section of area over here, so I think uh, what we might be doing is pumping up our mining areas. So we can make a district to do that. There's the district tool. That's the policies. Ah, here's the district tool. So we can paint down a district. Industrial specializations, district painting tools, commercial specializations we can't do yet. Okay, paint a district. I haven't quite worked out how you make the painting tool slightly larger. I'll check that out um, between episodes. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of City Skylines. Yes, I know, I can set policies. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this episode of City Skylines. I've been the Marmoset. She's been... Ocelot, apparently. Yes, the Ocelot. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be back soon enough to learn about some other things. Thank you.